East Bridge Capital and National Westminster Bank, which hold over 12% stake in Fortis, sought the EGM in April to remove Tempest, Sabina Vaisoha, LT General Tejinder S. Shergal and Harpal Singh from the board. New Delhi, shareholders in Fortis Healthcare have voted to remove Brian W. Tempest from its board in an extraordinary general meeting held on May 22, the company told stock exchanges on Wednesday. They've also given the green light to three persons nominated by a group of minority shareholders to join the Fortis board as independent directors. The development comes while Fortis is yet to ratify a proposal from a consortium of Sunil Kant Munjal of Hero Enterprises and the Berman family of the Dauber Group for a deal. East Bridge Capital and National Westminster Bank, which hold over 12% stake in Fortis, sought the EGM in April to remove Tempest, Sabina Vaisoha, LT General Tejinder S. Shergal and Harpal Singh from the board. The move had followed their decision to enter into a binding agreement with a consortium of Manipal's Health Enterprises and TPG Asia on March 27 for a potential demerger a deal that reportedly upset several shareholders, including Eastbridge, because of the valuation given to Fortis Hospital Business in this deal. In the requisition for the EGM, East Bridge and National Westminster Bank had alleged that the board had not satisfactorily exercised its fiduciary duties towards all shareholders and the company, especially in the matter of selling the country's second-largest hospital chain. The shareholders did not take a call on the dates of Shergal, Vaisoha and Singh as they had already resigned from the board on Sunday, ahead of the EGM on Tuesday. This spotlight on the independence of the board had pushed former Fortis co-promoter Shivinder Singh to write to them on May 14, objecting to the way the bidding process was run. The board had voted 5-3 on May 10 to recommend a joint proposal by Sunil Kant Munjal of Hero Enterprises and the Berman family of the Dauber Group for a deal. The board's decision went against recommendations of financial advisors Arpwood Capital and Standard Chartered, which favored bids by Malaysia's IHH Healthcare and Manipal TPG. Tempest, who chaired the May 10 meeting, said liquidity and certainty were reasons for the board's decision. Commenting features disabled in your country, region.